X tree, X tree. Get your lawsuit here. Get your lawsuit here. Here's one for you, one for you, one for you, and one for. Welcome to Art Explained, the show where I explain art. My name is Michelle, and get excited because there's a new legal battle going on in the art world, and this time it's all about copyright. This latest lawsuit is between General Motors Company and Swiss graffiti artist Adrian Faulkner, otherwise known as Smash 137. According to the New York Times, Faulkner is suing GM for infringing on one of his artworks copyright by using a mural created by him as a backdrop for a Cadillac ad campaign from 2016. The ad campaign, called Art of the Drive, had photos posted on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. The mural, created by Faulkner, is on a 10-story parking garage building in Detroit, Michigan, known as the Z. Dan Gilbert, the owner of the building and most of Detroit at this point, commissioned Faulkner in 2014 to paint the mural on an outdoor elevator shed on the top floor of the property. Now, let's talk about copyright. Technically, any original creative work that is fixed on a tangible medium of expression is automatically protected by a copyright. But there has yet been a concrete decision made by a legal court on whether or not commissioned or unauthorized graffiti, whether that be a scribble tag or a full-blown mural, is protected by copyright. In their article, the New York Times brought up three different separate lawsuits from graffiti artists who filed lawsuits against designers, retail companies, and residential complexes for either borrowing parts of their works or destroying them. In each of these cases, the lawsuits were either dropped or settled out of court before a judge could consider them. Wow, does that mean this, this is historic? historic? This might be historic. I think this history. could make history. Wow. While Faulkner believes that he should be paid for his work being used in an advertisement, GM's defense is that architectural works do not have copyright protections and that the mural is not protected under the law because it is incorporated into a building. According to GM's lawyers, if the parking structure is a building, then that is the end of the analysis. Joe Public should not be required to research the history of the building and hire architectural experts before he snaps a photograph. In response, Faulkner's legal counsel, Jeff Gluck, told Hypebeast, nearly all street art and outdoor murals are placed on buildings. If courts were to accept General Motors' reasoning, copyright protection for millions of artworks would be lost and it would leave a devastating impact on artists' rights. This isn't the first time GM has used street art in a catalog ad campaign. Here are some photos from October 2016, August 2016, January 2015, and December 2013, showing the company juxtaposing their products in some way with graffiti. If Faulkner wins this case, will GM have to also pay the street artists behind these murals to moolah if they haven't done so already? This case by Faulkner could totally influence how copyright laws view street art in future cases. If GM wins, would all graffiti be unprotected by copyright? If Faulkner wins, would every selfie taken in front of a throw-up require a penny or two for the respective artist? What a conundrum. Thanks for watching Art Explained. What are your thoughts on this recent legal issue? Are you hashtag Team Faulkner or hashtag Team GM? Do you think people who own a Prius are pretentious? Would you take a selfie in front of a raging bulldog off its leash? We at Artsplained would love to hear what you have to say. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe. See you next week.